All right, range day. Good morning, everybody. Listen, uh, I'm gonna have to start this off. I'm just gonna put it out there. I uh, apologize to all my viewers if you're, you know, subscribed, but I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna go ahead and put an end to the uh, gun channel. Oh. Take a lot out of me. It's very busy. I got a lot going on, so I just can't do it anymore. So on Saturday. So I'm moving it to Friday. So, um, yeah. Loving this mug too. It's freaking awesome. Uh, you know. uh, I am going to do something different though today. Thanks to my awesome nephew who came up with the idea. I thought about it before too, but he's really smart. And he said it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. He wants me to talk, kid. So let's go back in time and talk a little bit about kit. Now, before we do that, keep in mind, there is a link in the description where if you don't like me, if I'm not sexy enough, and my voice is too squeaky, you can click the link below and go right to the shooting part. Skip yeah. ahead if, you're, if I'm talking too much, Let's okay? Some kit. Let's start. The gear, you know, uh, this is what I've been using, you know, as far as, uh, you know, every episode lately. Um, mostly, I'm running this belt, which Blue Alpha Hybrid EDC belt, and I'll provide links to all this in the description. But it's slimmer, and you could use this in a pair, run this in a pair of Levi's or Wranglers, whatever, and it still has the heavy duty duty Cobra buckle. All right, Blue Alpha Tier One concealment holsters. I started out with this MSP Pro Flex from tier one concealment and I like it for different reasons um, I now I'm liking the Axis Elite both are light bearing holsters um, and they are light bearing on a specific light which would be the 300 uh, surefire series the C2 the Prodigy or the XC no matter, they're all light bearing. And that's for, it goes for both, both holsters. All right. All right, so that's what I'm running as far as concealment goes for the 2011s. I prefer the Axis Elite. Um, I like the heavy duty metal buckles, or clips I should say. Um, and it just is very comfortable. Uh, let's talk the war belt. So, first spear assaulter's belt. This one is your typical two and a quarter, two and a half inch, whatever belt. And this one you're gonna run outside your belt loops. All right. So let's take a quick look at how we put these on, considering, you know, the belt loops version of the carry versus the um, range belt slash war belt. on the slimline carry belt. I like to put mine off to the side, so I start my buckle over here, right? Run it through the loops. This is just a standard pair of Levi's. Have this off to the side, that way any width isn't showing up here when I, by the time I put on the uh, then I'll, I'll run the Axis Elite. Okay. And then I'll put the biggest one in. That's it. Now I'm wearing a relatively purposefully tight shirt to show you that it's going to print with this big of a gun. Let's try the C2 since that one's the smallest, I believe. Not, not too much, but you know, it's all, all in all, it's a good, you can see this thing really holds. It's very stiff. Typically, I, I wouldn't wear this shirt if I was gonna be carrying. I would just, I would, and then when I do carry, I carry like that. I always, I always have this thing, this shirt tucked in. So that's pretty much it. Um, so pretty much, 
your spare bag. So. Not too bad, it's, it's a pretty tight shirt. So, probably showing a little more than I should. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Metal clips, that's it. Let's take a look at the assaulter's belt. The assaulter's belt just simply goes on over top. And I went with T-Rex arms for the uh, holster belt here. I forget what you call these. Um, you can see when this locks in, it wants to pull up a little bit. That belt helps. Now watch when I take it off. Look at that. While I have this on, let's talk about, well, let's talk a little bit about the mags. Um, I'm running these taco pouch mags. So these mags uh, are nice in that, and they're from SKD Tactical. Um, pistol, rifle, pistol, rifle. I, I run these and then I also have a extended pistol mag for any candlesticks right here. Alright, this is just basically a drop pouch for junk. Uh, and that's it. That's all I really need. I should put a med kit on here at some point. I might do that. Um, and, you know, I'm running Safari Lands. QLS system. All right, that is their attachment method. So it's supposed to be easy. Yeah. So that comes off. Now, if I want to go with, you know, and I want to run my Glock, takes this Safari Land holster, and it takes the same male female attachment. Now I'm running my Glock, and it's that easy. This particular holster is QVOs secondary holster links in the spot the uh, chest rig this is a uh, more SKD tactical this is their pig pack um, it is a standard pack I think it has you know has a has a uh, the ability yeah it has the ability to have a, a water supply so that's cool I don't use it for that but Pig, yeah. Pig pack, you got a little compartment here as well. And then attached to that, I'm running a mole with, again, the same magazine pouches I got from SKD Tactical, uh, the stackables. And the link's in the description for these. So, yeah. Um, Pretty good setup, I like it. Nothing here has failed me yet. Um, first spear, let's talk about their backpack. So this pack here is called the uh, Exigent, Exigent Circumstance Pack. First spear, yeah. First spear and SKD are like sister, brother, sister, mother, daughter, I don't know, company, I, I don't know. But for some reason they're this one and the same. I never looked into it. Um, I'm embarrassed how much I paid for this. Did I need it? No. But like I said, well, no, I didn't tell you. But I like to buy from these folks because they are veteran-owned. Portions go to vets. Um, these, this material that you're seeing here, this kit, is used by oh. special forces, ranger battalions, all over the, the country globally. These guys, this is the best of the best. I bought it because of that reason, and I wanted to feel close to those guys in my own weird way. I thought it was kind of cool. It does not make you better. But I love the fact that I got something that's so cool that our our re first, re you know, our, our military has. So um, it's a great pack, though. It really is. It has this cool bungee. I can put like a, a blanket in here, a sandwich, a hoodie, and it stretches out. You've got several different compartments here. You could throw some stuff in here. A handgun. Prophylactics. You got a pack. It's stuff in here you can throw in. Um, there's a pack here. This is for something I just never use it. You can put, but you definitely have water, a water system here. See? So you can put your bladder in there. Um, 
and then the primary, you know, this holds all my magazines. And this is what I use when I go out to the range when I'm filming. You know, I take all this stuff out there. And I use this, particularly I got this spe specifically for my AR9. It will fit in here without the can, and it's a collapsible stock. It's a great bag. So, what else? Um, I think that's it. So again, you know, to sum it up, the chest rig and the war belt have the same taco pouches, the stackables. I really like them. Um, the holsters, I try to get these holsters to utilize the same, you know, utilize the same, the guns use that utilize the same holsters for a reason to save a little bit of money, a lot of money actually. Um, and uh, that's it, man. Hope you like, enjoy. Saturday's here. All right, hopefully I did all right. Uh, there's some things I left out. It's gonna happen. I'm not used to talking about stuff. I used to, I'm just like used to using it. I don't really talk a lot about it. So that was new for me. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's talk about some, we're gonna try to recoup some time here. But here's some ammo, 500 rounds of, uh, yeah. Herders. Uh, thanks to my sponsor. Let, let's take a here quick word from my sponsor. Uh, Mag Dump. I'm sponsoring Mag Dump. I'm like <laughs> some of this ammo so you can keep making some of these fucked up videos so you guys can keep watching. All right, he's shooting an XE he bought. He doesn't have any ammo now, but anyways, like, subscribe, and share. Yeah, nobody's buying it, but this guy. So. Where, where it works, unfortunately, during these trying times. But it is what it is. I mean, we're gonna do some, some drills just like we did last week. Here is the square drill I did last week. See, I missed one right there. What we were doing there was just like quick on the draw, you know. Um, I need to do more of those, because quite honestly, I'm lucky I got the two in. Uh, I'm not really good at that. And, you know, these things that I'm good at, I'm not good at. I keep doing them because I'm just not proficient enough yet. So, and for the things where I'm actually getting pretty good, like where I'm getting running some clean drills, maybe I need to speed it up a little bit, you know? So, yeah. What am I leaving out? I don't think I'm leaving anything out. Let's go shoot. Bear drill. Seven yards. PSA target. Let's do my modified build drill. I do five rounds instead of six, conserving some ammo. It's five rounds. I want to focus on not stringing my rounds up. You'll see during the uh, bear drill, rounds want to go up. I, I, and I think it's timing maybe. I'm canting my wrist. One went high and I threw one right. All right, almost, but like they say, almost doesn't count. It was touching the line. I don't know. The pig pack's on. This is where we're going to do that run drill. 25 yard, 15 yard, 10 yard, 7 yard. Mag changes in between the 7th. The 7 yard is a double tap. And that uh, last build drill, I'm going to call it a clean drill. You decide. There's the picture. Looks like a line break to me. No, it's not. I forgot to hit the play button on the camera. I did hit the play button on my on my cell phone. So there's the picture. I got them all in except for one, but let's do it again now that it's playing.
pretty embarrassing today, so let's get heavy. Let's shoot some steel. Two to the black, mag change. Two to the black, mag change. One to the 25, up in the woods. Let's see what happens. This is a clean drill. Four times today to get that right. Not as good as definitely not as good as last week. That's for sure. That's why we train, right? That's why I put put all this gear on, you know. Hey, the XD, flawless, you know, no issues shooting the herders. Uh, had enough gas getting out that comp to cycle it. No failure to extracts. Failure to extracts mean more than likely you're not even it's not racked back. It didn't, you know. I was having that before and uh but yeah mm. i don't sell these i swear but i just like the mug it's just awesome need them seed like magical fire dust Look at that one and yeah <laughs> but yeah i mean uh, two to the black mag change two to the black mag change one to the 25 that took four times to get that clean one time last week first time i had it for the first time and then not good at the 25 the 15 the 10 and the 7 with the double i gotta name these drills so i don't have to call but I, that was just not good today you know i'm hitting the 25 static on steel every time now but i'd like to get those a little bit grouped in more i think i could do it i just as you can see if you watch the, the video you see us I, I kind of sped through it a little bit but I, I do like the uh transition drills where i take five shots at that plate rack kind of and then magazine change and on the, on the move i missed one i would have had a clean drill and not only that i missed one but i sped it up going through hitting the 25 because i'm not in pay, i'm just very impatient i should have never shot that fast that's why the rounds were all over the place but hey i hit i hit every i didn't i didn't miss so that's good but that's something that's a takeaway take my time i'm and then also i'm trying to do the uh slow-mo i did 4k 120 frames per second but that's not slow-mo i have to see what it looks like i don't know i guess it makes more frames it probably looks clean i don't know but then I actually did some slow-mo. And then in doing the slow-mo, I'll try to do slow, and then I'll try to speed it up so you can see the, how fast it was. You'll see that I do one shot and I do it, I have like this trigger freeze where the other four I'm good, but you'll see it's slightly slow. I don't know. Uh, I think I missed a one or something. I don't know, I have to go back and look, but I'm definitely hitting faster at the seven yards than I used to. So that's getting better. I just gotta work on the trigger freeze, right? So, yeah, with that said, I will see you Friday from now on, because today is Sunday, but I used to shoot yesterday, but I'm going to shoot Friday. Got that? All right. Train comfortably. Train uncomfortably. Train your surroundings, but whatever you do, 